what, Phil? You know what I find difficult at what times? What do you find difficult? But I don't know if it's difficult or not. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's because I've got you, so maybe it's not as difficult for me. Is sort of what we just came off. Like we're we're you know while we're while we're prior to to doing this fast thought is you know we're coming off uh, recording um, some sponsorship partnership ideas mm -hmm. um, and then talking about you know ourselves or our brands or the it's a self promotion thing. I don't I don't know I don't I don't know sometimes how comfortable I feel and you have to do this. I get it. Like I, I get it. I mean, but how, it's the whole process of of self promoting and mm -hmm. or um, bringing someone else into your world and promoting them, but not sounding like some jackass who just wants to sell things or whatever. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I, I think it's probably not just today after recording. It's mm -hmm. been for the last while as we try to you know change our world a little bit. It's it's understanding you know that sort of side of it, like the self promotion or promoting others within a world that's been relatively clean for a while and how do you do that so you don't um pollute that side for lack of a better are you talking no about idea what we're going to talk about on this one but i've just it's just been something like are you talking about months. kind of that idea of how do you it's it's not quite an elevator pitch but it is right like it's, it is it's a sort bit of a though, brand right? image of who you are what like, you why represent, do people what give a shit about us, do. right? Yeah. Well, why do they give a shit yeah. about why what you're people, Why should about? people care? I guess. Why should they care? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just it just seems to just gnaw at me. I think you're. I I don't know. I mean, I I think I think um, self promotion isn't it isn't easy. It's not it's not maybe, right? it's not comfortable for sure, um, but I do think sometimes it's about being super clear, you know. Like um, I think part of it is like why I love the SEO stuff so much is the SEO stuff pushes you to clarity as well um, because you you start That's to true. get super clear about who you are, and sometimes that makes you really vulnerable because you realize that who you are is. Um, sounds callous or, or maybe that I don't love myself, but that doesn't mean that isn't what I mean is sometimes you realize that what you're no, trying to say so. isn't that interesting for anybody else. Right. Um, or you know what it is, or you discounted it. If you're not at, at that interesting yeah. to anybody else, when quite yeah. frankly, other people are thinking, oh, yeah, I never knew that about you. Or yeah. I knew you did that or, yeah. or whatever it is and how to yeah. sort of balance that out. Yeah. 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 We do. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, I think, I think it's kind of like whenever you go, so your brand has like a brand footprint that you have to have and your brand has a brand message that you need to kind of always be thinking about. And I think, um, you know, who we had on that really did a good job of talking about this was was like um, Peter Rodriguez with the personal branding stuff. You probably should have a background. Uh, because yeah. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's trying, like, it's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, in today's world, I feel like to be a leader in business, you, it, it's not just about making money anymore, right? It's about being super clear on ideas. We we expect more from our leaders now. Like we expect them well, to- the younger generation sure does, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. We expect them to be vocal and right. kind of contributing, right? Like it's what we, you and I love about this natural, you know, this natural health, natural food spaces. Everyone's in. You think of um, one of the fast thoughts that- um, the other th fast thoughts that's dropping as Kenny and I are recording this is Neha's. And she talks about how super transparent people are about their struggles or what they're working on, but because that's Neha, the I mean, community that we live super, in. Right. So yeah, you want super yeah. trans uh, transparent. Yeah. My God. Yeah. She did yeah. The one she's crying in it. Yeah. Yeah. But again, it's that, is that, I just don't know if I could get to that sort of comfort level that, that I'm not that, ever crying on a camera. I, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a crier. So no. But I mean, um, I've watched, I've watched, yeah. um, you know, Jake and Nick and, and yeah. at, at midday and do the same things. Yeah. And I guess it's whatever resonates to you as an individual or how you, how you sort of push through it. But yeah, I mean, it definitely makes, it, ma it definitely makes them a lot more believable, yep. a lot more. Yeah. I don't know. I guess maybe just connect at a whole different level in a whole different way. Right. It's just. But yeah, hundred percent. To your yeah. to, to your point, though, but that you got to get ultra vulnerable, and you got to really, you got to be really, really willing to show. Yeah, 
Well, show some stuff, right? I think you need to be able to show some stuff. And then I think you need to be clear about what you're trying to communicate. Like it, it isn't Facebook. So you're, you're kind of not bearing all your emotions just for bearing your emotions. Right. Like, so like there is, it's funny because Kenny and I um, have been working on this with a bunch of folks is like, how do you, how do you show vulnerability and show learning and um, failures, but also tie it back to who you are? So it's not branding necessarily. It's more, um, you know, communication style and also leadership style, right? Is right. It's got to be personable. It's got to lend incremental growth and, you know, some of those things in there, right? So, yeah. I guess yeah. ultimately that's what it's all supposed to do. And like even the business aspect, I mean, obviously when you're in business, I mean, the ultimate goal is to make money, right? It doesn't, it doesn't mean you have to, it's, mm-hmm. it's all about the profit. I mean, you got to get to a break even a minimum because otherwise there is nothing. Yeah. There, there, you're not yeah. going to survive anyway. So yeah. the, the, anybody who says differently to me lives in a, in a, in a fantasy world. You're, you're, the objective is to at least get to a break even, which means not losing, which in essence yeah. means making the money. But yeah, yeah. so I guess that's the yeah. authenticity, authenticity as well of, of how you, I just wonder sometimes I watch people and I know them. So when I hear them, I, I think, yeah, man, that's totally them. Like Neha, we know. I mean, so when you yeah. see her on her thing, I mean, that, that's not bullshit. That's, that's, that's Neha. That's Neha that all the time. Neha. Like that is, yeah. that is her. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And if you do meet, you know, like Jake or Nick, I mean, they're pretty much like wired yeah. for sound 24 yeah. seven. I know yeah. there's downtimes in everybody's life, but they they're not scared to show show those as well yeah yeah i think i think the trick is like so what what neha has and nick and those guys and and us right is is that you've got to be able to show your authentic self but also know that you're helping people be better so you've got to show parts like it's a weird combination of style vulnerability but also um you know help people grow or learn right so i think that's where the tricky part is is a lot of people you know the kind of uh more formal or or old school way of presenting is that you um you're kind of you sound like a pro or you're knowledgeable all the time there's no there's no questions you don't know how to answer right like that that very kind of quick and smooth you know so like sales reps who come in and talk to you right like before you'd ask them questions there's no way that they would leave without being able to answer your question, right? Because right. otherwise they wouldn't have done their jobs right. But right. I do think we're moving into a different era where it's, um, look, this is who I am. Sometimes I swear, sometimes I cry, sometimes I'm just angry, sometimes I fail, right? And and it's out there in the open, but also I'm not here to be an emotional drain on you. I'm here to like, I'm, I'm here to kind of like pick you up or inspire you. Um, and also, you know, and then also inspire okay. you to share things with me as well, right? So I think it's a very, yeah. Well, it's down to, it's more of a friendship <laughs> play. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to strictly, um, yeah. whether it's strictly business or transactional or mm-hmm. or, or that, Man, maybe that's what it is. I, mean, I think people do want yeah. to, get to get to know you or think, I guess what I were not worry about, I mean, it's a bad choice of words probably, is that like specifically in, in our situation, and maybe I'm even looking for feedback from others, I don't know so that we're not blowing smoke up our own is, you know, I just really guess we're trying to make sure that whatever we do doesn't pull from sort of what we are or what we were trying to do from the beginning of this, which was really making sure that we were that source of yeah, um, not a formal education, like just education that yeah. we're talking to people. If you learn and like yeah. you listen, you, you're going to pick up some stuff. And I just yeah. always want to make sure that if we do any self-promotion of our products or other people's products within it, does it hold that we're not doing this for any other reason outside of the fact we just really like these people and we actually really believe yeah. in their products or organizations yeah. or whatever they're doing yeah. and saying, you know what, they actually fit with I mean, I, I know that's how we pick. I just worry sometimes that do people understand? I mean, I guess if you listen to us enough, enough you probably know that we're pretty. I don't know, not, this is a, this is about as complicated as it's gonna get. There's not much else. Like what you see is what you get. Yeah, but we do like we 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 come off super cash, and I think we are pretty informal. We don't prep a lot of things, but 
we do really that's one thing that both of us you'll see our backs up you'll you'll see us get our backs up really quick is when we get um people that we we feel are going to be pitchy on the show or we feel people who are trying to use our audience to profit from like we're not we're not stupid we know that business gets business done that. that's that's, but, that's but, business but I we don't it. like pitchy we want insightful and so we've said no to people right because some yeah. sometimes folks show up and they go oh you know we're here's what we could do for your audience we're kind of going, no 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 what you could do for the audience is tell us your authentic story and they will tell you what they want out of you right so right. I think that sometimes that's probably the the time that you get us where we're kind of we'll get our backs up for sure. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I have no idea why that worried me today, but that's that was my worry for today. It's not goofy, I know, huh. but I just I had it in my I don't know. I it just it's not that goofy though. I don't I don't think like I think I think as we grow, like even us adjusting to the number of downloads and all those sort of things that are important to us, there well, is of kind like of this longevity of of the, of the show. I mean, yeah. You know, there's a long yeah. time. I think it was just you and me and oh God, Linda, you? probably Linda, <laughs> you, me, Linda and Nona. No, Nona came in late. My mom came in okay. very late. All right. A huge help. Yeah. Love my mom. Yeah. But yeah, a little, a little late yeah. on the show. Yeah. And, you know, not God bless the other two. Not much support from the, you know, the, the better halves of us, you know, yeah. outside of the fact they let us talk all day. Yeah. 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 About yeah, nothing yeah. most times, but well, look, look, Amelia has been very <laughs> accepting that I'm around all the time like sometimes i'm on the phone with kenny and 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 he's wishing amelia goodbye and then amelia comes home and i'm Bye still Phil. there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah fair enough yeah 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 yeah, yeah okay yeah. anyway that was yeah. that was just my uh my little thing gnawing inside of me today that I was just trying to balance out and make sure that we're not doing anything that's counterproductive or yeah yeah, I worry. I worry hopeful. about that too, right? Like we've we've two hundred and eighty six episodes, right? So I know, and that's what sure you don't want to do. Don't screw it all up, yeah. or do something yeah. stupid, or yeah, or I don't know, have people think you're going down a path that you're not. Yeah, I don't know why the hell I'm worrying about this. I really don't. I, I don't really. No, I think it. I think it makes down. us. I think yeah. it honestly. I I think it makes us who we are because we we do worry about that shit, right? We worry about it all the so. time, like you know. Okay, I got nothing else for you. I feel a little bit better. Oh, not much, but a little bit better, so that's good. <laughs> you have a great afternoon, Phil. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> All right. Take care, buddy. <laughs>